Hey folks, welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. So, we're here in the Temple of Baal where last time we defeated Orin, the Chosen of Baal, took her third and final nether stone, and realized we were very near being ready to confront the Elder Brain and attempt to finish our story. That being said, uh, we haven't really fully explored this area, and as Tava is an Oath of Vengeance paladin, I think we have an obligation here to slaughter all these uh, murderers. They're all self-confessed murderers, so I think we're going to make a, a little bit of an episode here of traveling around uh, and getting into fights <laughs> and killing everybody because they're all horrific evildoers who have to be punished. Uh, let's go ahead and start here at the altar by investigating the dead to see what they left behind. Most of them won't have much, I think, of interest to us. We've already kind of... Yeah, see, I don't really need to... We don't need gold anymore. Uh, we'll look for, like, really good stuff, but there may not be much to, to loot. Should mind my step. A bunch of reapers here. Yeah, they all have a murderous cut, which is, you know, fine, but I don't think we need to worry about picking it up and taking it anywhere. <laughs> we'll just see if any of them have anything interesting besides that. It doesn't look like it. All right. Let's take a quick look at the map. Um, I think we'll head back up around this section, the entrance. Uh, and just make sure we haven't missed anything. Uh, so you two over here, who are you? Death's Head of Ball, Gliria. She is crushed. Destroyed. Obliterated. But her skull did not sit in my palm. Not by my hand. No. No. Hmm. We have spoken to these two before, I remember now. Uh... And I think we checked Fist Rowan. So do I just, like, open up on these two? Does that, like, provoke everybody else and get us in... A fight with the entire area? I mean, I guess maybe. How many hit points do you have? 76. You're in a sanctuary. These guys are going to be easier to take out. Why don't we... Let's see. Is there anywhere we can hide and have Astarian take a quick little sneaky, sneaky sneak? Let's split folks up here. Let's have Astarian come over here. That's good. Uh, and let's have Carlock maybe come over here. Damn, it's good to be alive. Yeah. She can go ahead and get started by killing this individual. Um, Shadowheart and the Cambion can stay where they are. And I think Tava... I guess this is fine. Maybe we'll just kick things off like this. hasn't gone unnoticed. It okay, here we go, we're in. Uh, we've pulled the locals, but it seems some of the folks over here aren't getting involved. That's fine. All right, Carlock is up first. Let's go ahead and pop our bloodlust by taking out this ball cultist. Okay, then we'll work on you. Hey, there's a kill. This person is in Sanctuary. We can't harm them. Uh, we can get over here to work on this one. Who has one level of Unstoppable left. Boom. Okay. Uh, Astarian no longer has... an action, but we can bite here. Okay. Throwing at Shadowheart, she took 10, making himself invisible. All right, Tava can now come in here uh, and work on this person. That's a kill. Uh, you we're not going to be able to do much to until your sanctuary wears off, and you we can't see, unfortunately. 
Um, does she have a way to... She can come over here and maybe do a repulsor to throw this person. She should actually be able to fly a little bit closer, right? Oh, I forgot. If I use the movement to to, to move, it, it interrupts the, the thing. Maybe we'll force tunnel up to here. Still can't see that person. Okay, let's end turn. You're gonna get to go. Okay, take a shot at Carlock. Hit a couple times, that's fine. Uh, Cambion, go ahead and fire off some rays. Hit with all three, very nice. And then Shadow Heart. Uh, you know what, let's grab a third level, uh... Let's grab a third level Spirit Guardians here. With radiant damage. And we can make our way up to Tava. And somewhere along the way we should hurt... No, really. Okay, I thought we would have found the invisible one. All right. Bone split. Oh, okay, so you tried, you didn't bother trying to go invisible because you can't see anything. That's fine. Let's take you out. There's a nice kill. Let's see if we can get a Starion up here. to see this invisible person. Let's cunning action dash. Make our way a little further. I don't know where or if that invisible person is here, but hmm. I guess we just, let's see, what can you do? You do have an action and a bonus action. Let's have you dash with your action. And then let's come up here with a bonus action and kill this person. Okay, now where's... This person is still invisible? They're up here somewhere, right? Huh, we haven't seen them. Uh... So 23 plus shield will get us to 28, and they won't hit. Let's do that. Okay. She turned invisible right there. Let's see if Shadowheart can hit them with some area effect. Yeah, there we go. That's nice. Okay. Good turn from her. And Tava can finish. Okay. There we go. That is some of the murderers dead. Uh, I suppose we should check them. I think they're all going to have, like, nothing on them. Yeah, just a dagger. It's all about their abilities for them. No traps, please. Okay. Light on my feet. Let's continue exploring the temple and taking out these ball cultists. Over here we have Lens the Journalist. We didn't manage to save him, I guess. Nothing interesting there. What else we got? Stacks of scrolls. The Ecstasy of Murder. Once Ball's favor has quickened within one of his beloved murderers, the bliss of his love is nigh indescribable, for he blesses his loyal with a new sensation, a mindless, instinctual, primal sensation that comes from within the bowels an erotic spasm that washes over the killer in the moment of murder. It's said that in that instant his divine essence can almost be tasted. Forsake all other hedonisms, acolytes, for nothing can compare. Until the true ecstasies of murder wash over you, initiates, this scroll contains a prayer, you may say after a kill, calling for the Lord's disgrace to find its course in your body. Well, I've said it before, I'll say it again, yikes. Uh... Oh, we have another... There's something else here. A lending library. Borrowed scrolls must be returned within a ten-day. It seems the Temple de Murder has a lending library. Indeed. Now, anything here? We've got a skeleton on this ledge. 
our enemy's fate. Here lies Flaming Fist Manip and Tira Thorpe, who thought to interfere with an unholy ritual murder in Harborview Park. Her body will lie here until every scrap of flesh has been picked clean by corpse beetles. Thus shall we serve all who meddle in the bloody business of Baal. All right. Uh, let's meet these two before we punish them for their sins. We have Baal and Eni. Or no, we just have Eni. You killed her! You! You killed her! I thought it not possible. And yet, curious. Okay. And you, Michia? Such agonies I would inflict upon you for what you've done here. But Bao's law is absolute. You may leave unmauled. You may not. All right, so let's fence in this one who's going to turn uh, invisible here. Let's make sure she has nowhere to move. Let's get a Starion in here next to her to look. Let's get Shadowheart down here. And let's get the Cambion in here as well. So she should not be able to move after she turns invisible. And then we'll have Karlock kick things off by going after this person. Alright. Hey, there's the... That's her... Okay, that's her action taken out. Uh, now let's see. What can you do here? Can you hit this one? No. Okay, we can't reach her because Shadowheart's in the way. I guess we could... Hmm. We're gonna have to jump here, if we can. There we go. And then... Sneak attack this guy. Okay. I don't know what you're gonna do. You're gonna jump. Okay, that's probably a good choice for you. Ooh, 54 damage. That is nasty. All right. Uh, what do we want to do here with these two? Let's have Shadowheart finish this one. Oh, that's a critical miss. Too bad. Uh, Tava can finish this one. And then we can start on this one. Uh, how many smites do we got? All right, I'll, I'll put one in. Or maybe, maybe we'll just burn this. To get her nice and low. Okay. And then... Hmm. She did quite a lot of damage there with that one attack. I guess it was a sneak attack? All right, we're just we're just gonna finish this up here. Uh, let's have him fly over here, perhaps. There we go. Nice, but not quite enough to finish her. But then we cycle around to the other side of the. There we go. Okay, so she's taking a little bit of damage here, but I'm not too worried. Yeah, more kind of just ordinary stuff. All right. You know what? Let's have Tava throw a quick lay on hands on Karlock. Uh, 48 healing. Does she need 48? Uh, no, she needs 40. All right, so 24 should be enough. Let's keep moving. Need to find a way forward. Now we could hop in here and check this out. And I think we will. Let's see where this leads. Here we have an acid vial. Ooh. From bones free no more a slave. Liberators. Saviors. Pawns. Cubes. Fools. Released. Usefulness. Ended. Targeted. Killed. Death. Unavoidable. 
Okay, so something about moving into this area targeted that or triggered that. Uh, all right. Maybe there's a bigger fight down here that we're not quite aware of. Dude, what do we see down here? This was Orin's bed. Okay, so this might have been her her room. I'm not sure. Ball Temple, the Chosen's room. Okay, so this would be a fairly large drop. I think most people couldn't make it without taking falling damage. So we'll back up here and come at it from another angle. Is this a door? No. Okay. So now we're at the upper part of here. We need to go back down to get there. Let's head back around to the far side. Is there a way to get to the far side? It's all kind of... No, hold off. It's kind of... Um, it's kind of uh, broke, busted up and broken. So we'll have to have Tava investigate with flight, I think. Let's come down over here for now. I think we've done it, though. I think we've slaughtered every uh, ball worshiper that's currently present. I think that's sort of it. So it's really just a little bit of exploration, and then it's back to camp for that long rest. And then down to the docks to confront the Elder Brain. All right. Let's have her take flight. Take a peek over here. Nothing in here, okay. And then, I'm not sure she can even land here. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, invalid target, right? Okay. Let's get down into Orin's uh, chamber. Blood everywhere, unsurprising. And we'll take a look around here. Oh, there's more dead down here. We've got Reaper of Ball, Zerilus, and Grimlark. I think, if I'm reading this correctly, I'm not sure. We didn't kill these guys, so perhaps the Elder Brain just did just now? Not sure. Uh, this person has a book called I Talk to the Bones. It's a notebook filled with handwritten poems, most of which seem to be about communing with the murdered dead through contemplation of their corpses. The verse, much of it quite accomplished, is lyrical and elegiac, profoundly insightful and even moving. The final poem is 34 lines in length, ending with the words below. Your corpus was killed, your life ephemeral, but your death was fine art, and art is eternal. Hail, immortal victim, hail! In sacrifice, live ever on. Uh, there's nothing saying intelligent and artful people can't become killers. We've got some more stuff over here. We've got Orin's chest key. As well as invasion plans for Eltergard and Baldur's Gate and a manifesto. Sorry, I had a bit of a cough there. Written on leathery parchment, the document has a fetid metallic odor. Manifesto, 13 Uktar, 1482. I, Orin, called the Red by the Shalar, daughter of Helena, granddaughter of Saravak Ancheb, do vow in the name of Baal, my lord of murder, to serve his unholy will. I shall become an incarnation of slaughter, and the pain and humiliation inflicted upon his temple by the ignorant masses of Baldur's Gate shall be repaid a thousandfold. This do I swear and attest with my own heart's blood. Uh, we have here... Orin's mother, Helena. Wow. Pierced by... What is that, like, a dozen, like, iron rods? Pretty gruesome. Let's see what, uh, what she's got on her. Nothing. Okay. Uh, concerning Orin the Red, 
little sister, whatever in the Grey Wastes are we going to do with you? Ball will never care that you waste your time posing your corpse dollies. Paul doesn't care whether you give him the corpse of a pauper or a king. At the end of the day, all Father wants is death in droves. Death in numbers. To sap away the life of this dull world as swiftly and widely as we can. You plan, you plot, you prevaricate, and you waste his time. Ball doesn't need us to think, he needs us to kill. You kill beautifully and have talents in your shape's magic that I never will. But you do not understand, Lord Ball. Perhaps it is a failing of your diluted blood as a mere grandchild. I am his sole living pure blood. I will accept no challenge from you until you show some damned respect. I guess that was Saravok sending that? I'm not sure. Or maybe it was... Maybe it was uh, her mother, because her mother was also her sister, right? That's how that works? Yeah, her father's daughter is her sister as well as her mother. Ick. Um, what else have we got here? A couple more death's heads. Yeah, nothing of interest there. Nothing of interest there. Uh, we've got a Veldite ring and a pearl necklace here. I guess we can take those. And a plan for chaos. How weakly the city slumbers above, safe behind its walls. If it gets what lurks below, it must be reminded. If the tyrant wishes them to suckle his accursed teat, I can make them crave it. My sweet assassin set to stalk their hearths and stifle their throats. My changelings will turn the very face of hope against them. Master choking apprentice, father hacking down son, the city will butcher itself soon enough. And the lordling will be powerless to stop it. Now, this was... A fallen ball spawn? Okay. And then over here we have a wooden chest. Inside, we have Malice and Wyvern Toxin, a couple poisons, uh, a skull, and Blood Envy for the Unworthy. Oh, my stupid slaughterkin. How many thousands will you mutilate before you learn to make their blood spill worthy of Father's altar? You deceive your god with these mindless flayings, and our temple, no, no, my temple, decays because of it. It can't be so. It mustn't be so. The favorite of Baal must be one worthy of his name, one who serves him and only him. If you insist on shouldering the yoke of these other so-called chosen, then I will craft you a better one. A worm to make you mindless at the altar meat you butcher. And I will restore this temple in Ball's true image. A glorious vision built atop your festering corpse. Not sure exactly who she's talking about there. Uh, we've got a Kruror here. Orin's butler. Okay. Dead. And then experiment on Kruror. Nidal 3, father sent a butler to fawn over me. I'm not my mind-mangled bloodkin. I need no coddling. I'll send it back to him, entrails and all. Nightal 4. Not again. The wretched minion has returned, singing my praises over the way I slaughtered it. If it craves death, I will give it a lingering one. Its screams will silence father's concerns. Nightal 9. Again, again, this praise poxing creature comes back to me. It will not leave me be. So I will make something beautiful of it. An effigy stuffed with the flesh of every other butler in this city. Father will see I need no instruction, no inspiration. Nor does any true chosen a ball. So, yeah, uh, a pretty poor father-daughter relationship, it seems. And with that, I think we're done. So the only last place we have to go is up here to confront the Elder Brain. Um, I don't know that I want to spend the night here. <laughs> but I suppose we're not actually going to spend the night. Um, all right, we can't fast travel. We have to leave manually, it seems. So let's do that. Let's get out of here and see what our last night of long rest, presumably our last night of long rest, looks like. Whether anything happens. Whether there's any final reflections or anything like that.
Okay. Make it to here, and then we should be able to travel out. Okay, we're fine. All right, folks, here we go. Minsk and Jahira are here. Looks like Halson wants to chat. I guess we rescued him, so that makes sense. Let's see what he has to say. I received a dispatch from the Grove. Life carries on there in our absence, just as nature intended. My chosen successor, Francesca, has proven to be a wise choice. Perhaps the wisest I ever made as Archdruid. Hmm. What news from the Grove? Wounds have healed. Damage has been undone. Balance has been restored. Those who seek to serve nature there can once again do so with all their hearts. There have been difficulties. Some initiates harbor too much admiration for Korga's course of action. Francesca will do what she must to rid them of such notions. She is well suited to the task. Better than I, perhaps. To cleanse a land of shadows is one thing, but to sway a heart from a dark path is another matter entirely. I was all too eager to surrender my responsibilities towards the Grove. <laughs> perhaps I was never meant to be Archdruid, to be a leader. Hmm. Yeah, I think she's fine here, saying, number one, you served the Grove well, and found a worthy successor. No one can ask more of you. Still, though, I cannot help but wonder if there was more I could have done. Perhaps, Oak Father willing, I may yet have the chance someday. Forgive me. The Shadow Curse occupied me so entirely, and for so long, I almost missed the purpose it gave me. Now I must find a new one. Hmm. Uh, how are you? You weren't harmed when Orin took you, I hope. Just my pride. I can't believe I allowed myself to be knocked unconscious and spirited away like that. Impressive that she managed to move my bulk, come to think of it. I wonder how that was managed. But in either case, it seems I was insensible for much of my ordeal. Small mercies. Okay. Well, glad we got you back. Glad you didn't die, as so many others have died in this playthrough, including children, sadly. Nobody else needs to chat. So let's go ahead and rest up and see if anything happens in the night. If not, we'll buff up one last time and head out to take out the Elder Brain. You know what? I will take I will take one second here to check in with Gale. Orin was a monster, whatever her form. Suppose growing up somewhere like this would make a monster of anyone. Hmm. I was wondering if he had anything to say, because we have one last quest for him, which is, uh... Claim the Crown of Karsis, and then I'm not sure what we're gonna do with him. It's something to do with him. Uh... I do probably need to get him equipped up and kitted out for tomorrow, just in case we have to bring him along. The others all have kind of some stuff. Like, he's got a few things that nobody else is using, so that's fine. What were these? Invisibility and frantic urgency. Yeah. So, like, he's he's got enough to fight with going on if we need him. If he gets called into battle. Jahira's set up. Minsk is not. We could give him some stuff, for sure. And Gale has nothing on at the moment. Um, Halson is not equipped either. So, yeah, during this, uh, during this video break, when I'm buffing everybody and preparing for the day after the long rest, I'll get them equipped with secondhand stuff from the box, whatever we're not actually using, and get them ready in case they get called into battle or we need them for something. But I think, likely, the final fight will just be Tava, Astari, and Shadowheart, and Karlock, as it's been for the majority of the playthrough after Lazel died. So, let's go ahead and take our long rest and see what happens. Seems simple enough.
Doesn't look like anyone's been here in a while. Perhaps people lost faith. Or forgot about it. I wanted to come here. To see if I felt anything that I hadn't done before. Now that I know what I know. Now that I know who I am. Hmm. So... Is that a statue of Saluna? I'm not sure. Who you are? You mean Genevelle? That's a dead girl's name. I don't deserve it. I had to look up how it was spelled for pity's sake. I have my family back. And now I can't even look them in the eye. I don't deserve to be anyone's daughter. That's not true. That's not true. Not even close. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to see me like this. Alive? Free? Feeling? I've dreamt for years of seeing you like this. Seeing you as yourself again, Jen. <laughs> it kept us going all this time. I can't be your Jennifer. Not as you remember her. Of course you can. No. I'd be turning my back on too much. Shadowheart is as much part of who I am as Genevelle. I can't just forget her. That's not what I do anymore. Besides, Shadowheart still suits me. Even better than before, perhaps. Can't cast a shadow without some light. Don't worry. I'm still your daughter. If you want me to be. I'll call you whatever you like. So long as you're happy. Arnel? The Moon Maiden guides and helps us find our true selves. Shadow Heart. Daughter. A very nice moment there. Okay. So... Just in case, because sometimes long rests trigger things, and sometimes the game is not able to, to stuff everything into one long rest. And since we have 3,000 supplies, I'm going to take one more right here. I'm going to take one more day before we go fight the Elder Brain. And just see... Uh, does that do anything? If we take another long rest... Yeah, see now, Halson has something else to say. Okay, so we'll do this as many times as needed. Um, let's check in with Halson, and maybe we'll check in with Shadowheart as well. I never quite realized how burdened I was until I met you. The threat of the Shadow Curse. The politics of the Grove. I was forgetting who I was. But you lifted the fog. Thank you. You got it, bud. Uh, you're welcome. You're too modest. Wait, didn't we already go through this? I have lived a very long time. Uh, we've definitely been through this. Taken many lovers. Truly? But I respect your choice. Uh... Still. Okay. That that was a bit weird. Shadow, how are you doing? That's Orin dealt with. Good riddance. Now that we have her nether stone, we're one big step closer to finishing this. 
Once and for all. Okay, anything else to say? Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Mmm. Okay. I mean... She's, she's good. She's better with her parents here. I guess we can check in with Minsk. He's probably got like 50 lines to go through though. Stuff we could, we could learn about him, but I don't really, <laughs> I mean, is it horrible of me to say I don't really care at all? Um, the owlbear cub is here. That's cute. I don't know where Scratch is. He should be around here. Uh, we've got Shadowheart's parents now. Actually, them I will speak to for roleplay reasons. I want to introduce myself and be like, hi, I'm uh, your daughter's lover. I think things will be better now that we've talked to Shadow Hot. Much time was lost, but no more. Now we can be there for our daughter. Hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm glad things worked out for you and your family. We are a small family. Smaller than I hoped for. But we are whole again. How do you feel? Old. I was a young woman when they seized me. Anel and I hoped Jen would be joined by siblings. But that dream's gone now. And there's a stranger in the mirror. Mm. But I still have my teeth. That first apple was worth the wait. <laughs> what comes for you now? Now this old lady will be getting in the way in your fine camp, I'm afraid. Don't worry. I shall pull my weight and help how I can. After so long in captivity, it feels good to use my hands again. Okay. Good to know you, Mama uh, Hallowleaf. What about you, Dad? Arnell? I'm starting to feel like my old self again. And Jen, I mean Shadowheart, has been able to unbottle some of the feelings that Shah denied to her. A great deal of damage was done to our family. But we can still heal. Hmm. So you're a lycanthrope. Shadowheart shared some of her memories with me. I am. But with Saluna's guidance, I learned how to control the beast long ago. I only let it loose again when my family was threatened. Unfortunately, I was unable to stop what befell us. As neither elf nor wolf. Hmm. You're okay with your daughter's choice of name? Of course. Only a fool would alienate his child over a name. Shadowheart must determine her own path. That is what the Moon Maiden teaches. Still, I am unused to it. I can only hope she forgives a slip of the tongue now and again. Until I adapt. I think she will. What comes next for you? My wife will need care. I wish to find somewhere quiet, close to nature, where the sun can warm us and the moon can watch over us as we sleep. And Shadowheart, too, may wish to join us, perhaps, with her fine paramour at her side. Once you've put down this absolute threat together. I've gleaned enough from word around this camp to know you're more than capable. You will prevail. Oh, that's nice. So they do know that we're her paramour or lover. And they seem to be approval, approving of us. I'll take it. I don't think we want to ask this. I think that's too deep a wound to ask too soon. So with that, we'll take one more night of rest here. Um, I don't think we need to talk to anybody else. Um, Jahira might have something to say about uh, Saravok being killed. I would be lying if I told you I was certain we would walk out of that temple alive. We faced Baal there once before, and I was not ready to count on luck a second time. But luck had no part in it. Just you. That is both chosen beaten and their stones wrested from their grasp. But where they fall, the Elder Brain rises. It is already worming its way free. We must find it before it slips its collar. Whether we are ready or not. Hmm. Okay. Uh, that's about it. Yenna and Grub, I guess we're not... I don't know what the deal is with them. 
Were they changelings or were, was it just legitimately a little girl? I don't know. I brought my own paring knife. Now I just need some ingredients and I'm going to make something really good. I promise. Okay. I was pretty suspicious of them when they showed up, but uh, all right. Let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we can check in with Carlock, maybe, and Astarian real quick, and then we'll head to bed. Hells take that ball freak. She would have bled the whole world just for the fun of it. We've got her netherstone now. One step closer to getting the netherbrain under control. The netherbrain? I mean, it's not bad, but I don't think it's accurate. Uh, <laughs> let's check with Astarian. Good riddance to the shape changer. It couldn't have happened to a worse wretch. All right. One more night of rest, and then it's time to finish this thing. Okay. I guess that seals it, folks. There's nothing else left to do. We've we've completed everything I can think of. Uh, couldn't find all of Dribble's body parts. Uh, never quite caught up to Dolor. There's maybe one or two more loose ends that we didn't we didn't get. But when you're saving the world, you can't sweat the small stuff, right? Uh, I'm gonna take a break here. When we come back next time, I'll be all buffed up and we'll head out for the day, which will mostly involve going to confront the Elder Brain and try to defeat it. Uh, uh, control it, retrieve the crown of Karsis for Mistra, and then destroy it and save Baldur's Gate. So I hope you guys are looking forward to it, because I know I am. I am I say I'm looking forward to it, but I'm a little reluctant. It feels a little bit... It feels a little bit uh, bitter uh, to come to the end of such an amazing game. Like, I'm, I'm very hesitant to finish the game, because then it'll be over. You know, then I'll be done. Uh, although, there will be a second playthrough off-camera for me uh, as the... Uh, the Dark Urge. I'm very much looking forward to that, but man, this has been... This has been just an incredible experience. I don't think I've ever played a game like this before. Just, just astonishingly good. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this time. We'll see you in the next one. As always, thank you so much for watching. Take care.